Welcome back everyone. Today we're looking at reading beach structure. I've done a previous video on the subject but I just thought I'd cover a quick video using some of the photos I took from Jasper Beach which provided uh, some perfect examples of some great beach structure that uh, will help us identify locations to fish because as I see 99% uh, of the fish are generally in 1% of the, the ocean so let's try and uh, increase our chances by finding the right spots. So looking at this picture is a prime example of what we're looking at. So we want to find these type of gutters where you see wave action further out. So there's breakers that are happening and then there's no wave action and then there's that deeper colour section and then it uh, lip um, crashes or uh, on the lip of the shoreline where it does right there and it's perfect because like in this example you can see another deep trough um, very close to the shore and it's great for for casting into because it's so close in um, and you have that nice deep section and your predatory fish are going to be able to come in into that deep section um, to hunt for prey and that's why we would want to target those sections so those uh, breakers are generally formed by either sandbars or reefs in this case it's all sandbars and then it drops off because the depth means it's no longer going to have wave action that's why we get that color and we don't see any waves that are really happening until it hits the shoreline so the predatory fish will be swimming around in those gutters uh, looking for food and these are some of this vision is taken at low tide as well so easy and identifiable so we're looking at some satellite vision from that same beach um, you can see a perfect example of an entry and exit point uh, where you can see there's white breakers to the left and the right of the arrow um, so that area would feed in during high tide and fill up the beat the gutters to the to the left and to the right um, this uh, same down the bottom we have two smaller in exit and entry points and a gutter that sits in front and you, this is taken uh, you can tell during it low tide because of the color of the sand you can see is darker closer to the shore and uh, quite white up towards the top so that darker bit is because it was that's where the high tide mark sits so you you can identify that from this vision so looking at this one this is a great example up the top we've got a deep gutter that runs in front of all those breakers and you can tell that it's going to fill up quite nicely by the high tide marks so they'll exit, uh, sorry, the entry point up the top where a square is. You can see that that water is going to come through in there and then fill up all that gutter right down towards the bottom there. So that would be perfect for that. Here's a nice, uh, great example of a small entry and exit point where you have wave action happening both to the left and to the right of, of the uh, gap. Um, and then that's where your predatory fish are going to be entering into to get access to this deep gutter. Um, there's a gap because that's a deeper section there's missing um, the sands moved so it's created the uh, gap for them to be able to come in and you always keep in mind that sand never stays in one place it always is moving so sometimes gutters are there and then sometimes they're not so you keep to sometimes need to keep looking but this one here is a bad angle because I'm a bit further away than normal with most of the pictures but this is a shallower gutter that would fill up during higher tide um, but it was the coloration that was helpful in this one this one here is perfect example of what a hole would look like uh, a very deep one you can see to the left hand uh, there's a sand bar that sits there and the break is just behind it and then it drops straight off the lip right into a deep section of holes so that would be a nice area to target for your fishing um, and the fact that it's so close to the shoreline uh, it's perfect for, for anyone that's beach fishing that you don't have to cast very far to get into deep waters where the fish are going to be coming in to look for their for their dinner and their prey. So here we have the uh, satellite vision of that same f uh, looking at this footage from the same beach again. So up the top um, you can see the circled area. That area is nice gutter. Um, and then a bit down below you can see there's a tiny gap between the two breaks that'll feed into those gutters and then all along that stretch will fill out as high tide comes in this one's a little more clear you can see up the top uh, there is a gutter that's there 
that will get filled up as the high tide comes in. You can actually see a bit of that sandbar that's causing those waves to break. Um, but in front of that, there's a nice little gutter that would form as it gets filled up during high tide. And then the square down the bottom is sitting in front of some rocks. Uh, so that's a nice little open part that they can get straight access to. Here showing you it's a bit harder to see, but you can still kind of tell the top one's easier to identify that there's an entry and exit into the gutter that goes um, down towards that river section. Um, and there's a tiny little exit. Uh, point around those uh, waves that are breaking so uh, it's possible to target in that area but it's not as clear to identify as say a beach one like this one where you can clearly see there's a big gap between the two uh, breakers and then you can see how there's a nice big uh, gutter that follows the beach down all the way down towards the bottom um, where there's a nice big gutter that that's being filled by that entry and exit point so it'd be a perfect example to target all that area and then down the bottom you can see there's also an en entry and exit point in this one here we can see on the right hand side is a bit hard because of the angle but that right hand side one is very deep and darker color and it crashes very close to the shore where there's some rocks that would be a nice hole and then there's uh drops off um behind it you can see by the waves but then to the left is a gutter that's uh there's a nice big gap between the two, the edge of the shore, and the break is a bit further out there caused by the sandbar. Uh, here we have is another is a really good example of an ent entry and exit point as seen from the beach. So this is what you want to look for. You want to target these sort of areas where the predatory fish are going to come in through those areas where the, there's a break and the, there's a depth through the um, sandbars. They come in and then they'll swim around through that gutter area looking for their prey. So you will target um, around that sort of vicinity to try and get them coming in and coming out and swimming through, doing circles through that those deep gutters. So that's a great example of what you want to look for. Prime, prime uh, situation. Not always going to see them. So this one here I put up because uh, on the right, it's a bit hard to see, but there is an entry point there. There's a deeper gutter on the right hand side, but then there's a shallower one to the left. So you can tell the difference between what's a what's deeper one and what's a shallower one. The coloration, um, you can tell changes. So you can tell the right hand side is much deeper. Um, so that's what we're looking for, a deeper gutter. So taken from above at low tide, you can see the arrow pointing down below. There's a little bit of a gap between the breakers and the sandbars. And then you can see the red line marking out how there's a gutter in front of that sandbar that was going to get nicely filled up during high tide. So that's looking at your satellites. You can have a quick squeeze and you can go, OK, well, it hopefully might still be there. Um, but that's an example of what you're looking for when you're when you're having a look from above. Here we have another example where as a red marker line, you can see that whole section there. That's a beautiful little gutter sitting in front of a, a sandbar um, at low tide and at high tide, that's just going to get uh, even deeper and, and better looking. Um, and down below, there's a gap that fits in. You can tell the, the seawater has been dragged out and then there's a little hole that's just sitting to the right hand side of that that might be worth targeting but i'd probably stick with the gutter at first here at the top you've got a nice little tiny entrance but then there's a little bit of a, uh, a deeper hole that sits just in front of uh, some sandbar action and then down the bottom a clear entry entry point um, that'll fill the gutter to uh, up towards the left of it um, so that's a nice example of an entry point into a gutter that it feeds up further into the beach during high tide. So that would be a good one as well. Um, this one's a little harder to see, but up the top you've got a, a small entry and exit point and a gutter that sits just in front of it. So you might want to target that. And then there's one further down that will get filled up during high tide as well. But I'm hoping that uh, some of these pictures might uh, help you identify some beach structures yourself. Uh, because they being able to see this sort of stuff both from above and on the beach will increase your chance of uh, of hooking up um, and I want to just say big thanks to our members and our patreon supporters Blake for helping us out with uh, making these videos possible hoping you like what you see and if you do hit like and subscribe because we've got some more content coming your way so I appreciate your time everyone and thank you for listening